Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I want to walk you through my custom action for the Jira integration that automatically syncs a story I create in a flow with Jira without me having to do very much. So let's get right to it. I wanted to make sure I explain this. Let me start with the business rules. So the application Atlassian Jira integration for agile development includes some scheduled jobs or some business rules that fire and one of them is stink sync not stink <laughs> sync story with jira there's also sync sprint with jira sync epic with jira that's what's happening when you create a sprint you create an epic or in my case you create a story and what this uh, schedule or what this business rule does is it runs when a story record is inserted updated or deleted um, after it's created so once that's done it is going to run this advanced script here and you can see the code. It's gonna create a new uh, method for Agile Jira utilities to export the current record to Jira and pass the record that was just created or that fired or triggered the business rule. So I wanted to replicate that in my workflows and so all I did was come up here into Flow Designer and I created a new action. That new action needed the story record that we've created. So I made an input to reference the story record. So you can see here reference.story. Um, if I have typed that out so you can see what that looks like, we'll just dot walk our way over there to uh, I think it's just story and scroll down there's rm underscore story right so so that's the reference field that we need to sync in order to pass along to that script and then I have a script set where I or script step where I literally just copied line number three new agile new SN agile Jira integration to this script and I replaced the current with inputs dot story underscore record that's it that's the magic behind this particular action. And now this action can be used in Flow Designer when we're creating a story to then go ahead and sync that story with Jira. Because if you create one in Flow Designer, the business rule is not gonna fire. And that's just to prevent issues with a business rule triggering a flow, triggering a business rule, triggering a flow, and then never ending. You're kind of getting caught in a loop. So that's my way around it. That's all I did. This code is gonna be available on GitHub. I'll include a link on screen or down in the description below. But I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in automating their integration between Jira and ServiceNow. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.